Hello YouTuber Woobers! So this is a video like I've told you I've been doing a uh, recording video for uh, a TV show on how to do micro greens and uh, this is one I've uh, done. I did this one actually with two different cameras. I had one camera from above looking down that was the good camera and then I had my uh, point and shoot on a stand um, from the side and uh, I brought him into the uh, to final cut as a uh, multi camera shoot edit and it's really cool on, uh, on how it works I certainly learned I didn't learn as much doing this one as I learned trying to do another one because this one actually worked really well and not too well so I didn't actually learn the mechanics as well as I did on the second time around so anybody who hasn't done a multi-camera shoot what you want to do is you want to have some um, distinctive background noise so that the editing software has something to key in on to match up the two cameras uh, and it's a good idea to do a clap when you're about to start recording right after you hit the you, hit, you start recording on both cameras and then you do a clap and that's a good sound to uh to sync up your um your different camera angles and you could do multiple you don't have to limit it just to two you could do as many as your software will handle um so at any who i'm uh doing my weekly seed planting for my microgreens. And I start with the peas and then do sunflowers after that and then my radish and corn are on top. And by stacking the trays, now that here, right here you're seeing it because I ran out of my medium. So these are the blocks that I get for the coconut cure. Um, and these are fairly large blocks. They're like 12 by 12 by uh, 2 to 4 inches, depending on uh, the moisture content. And then I chop them up with my, uh, my chop saw into four blocks. So they're, uh, they're larger than the, the brick size that you can get. Uh, it's the most economical way that I could figure out getting these blocks. So then you fill your bin up there with some water and you plop the uh, brick in there and you flip it over a few times to get all the sides saturated and then you kind of give it some time and it expands up. Then you prop, break it up with your uh, trowel and then start planting again. And uh, you, you don't want it sopping wet, but you, and you want it damp you don't want it dry because for the next four or five days that they're in the stack you know that, that water content is what's going to nurture the seed to sprout out and start rooting uh, if it's too wet it's too wet too much water for seed is not a good thing so uh, some of it will drain off into the slots into the bottom tray but if it's too saturated, it won't all drain off. So, now the, most of us gardeners, we kind of know what too wet is. And, but you definitely, you definitely don't want it dry. Now, if you're going to not have it like I have on the bottom tray, and you're hosing it down, then that's different. But uh, this is how I do it because I'm working indoors. So there I am using the offset icing uh, spatula, and it's very nice on the wrist when you do it this way. And it's a nice way to get everything evened out, both with spreading the medium and also the seeds. And you just keep on going. I really like the way this multi-camera layout worked out. I. Uh, Tried it again with another thing came out. Okay. I'm actually now I'm looking for another uh, Vixia camera like the one I have. Because um, I can really kind of see how I can 
uh, particularly working by myself, I could set up a camera in one position and work on with the other camera, and uh, it has some exciting ideas to it. It sure is a expensive hobby, but I suppose there are more expensive hobbies than working with video. Although, if I if I end up getting a uh, a drone. I, I welcome anybody to slap you across the head and say, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> because a lot of YouTubers, they have drones. Um, but I'm not doing this for, you know, for YouTube fame. I'm just doing this because I'm enjoying myself. And uh, I'm really doing it to put videos up at the station. Um, but I do enjoy teaching uh, my knowledge now. And, uh, it's not uh, fame that I wish. Brother. I am the humble kind of Let me call yourself humble. Does that mean you're still humble? Now there's a question for an answer. So, uh, Yeah, of course, I sped it up a little bit because I really don't work this fast. Uh, I think it's at 400 speed. Whatever that means. So now this is about uh, three ounces of sunflower. Yeah, three ounces. Now, a lot of people just cover the entire tray with sunflower. But I think I find that if it's overcrowded too much, it increases the chances of mold between, between the stems. These, these are a little less um, personal about that. They tend to like the hot but Sunflowers, they kind of like a little bit of space. So I've been doing three ounces. They go, I, I definitely find it if you do any in a place that ends up not doing too much and they don't grow it up. So you really want a good healthy tray. Um, I had some issues on the previous weeks, whereas the, the mix was too wet. And that caused some problems. I ended up not getting as much of a yield on this week's harvest. But I think that the three ounces and not having it too wet really makes a difference. And then I just keep stacking the tray. And the weight of the material on the trays, they push the seed down into the uh, into your your mix, your starter mix. Uh, some people, when I started off, I was using this organic uh, seed starting mix that I was able to get had from the local uh, farm and garden store. Seeds. Kind of like an ag way, but they're kind of under their own label. And uh, that stuff was pretty good. It's just the fact that I had to, uh, I had to carry it in. I had to go pick it up, you know, load it in the car, carry it in, and it also was in bags, so it took up more space. And, you know, 20 bags of that took up a lot of space, whereas I can order the uh, coconut blocks from Home Depot. If I order more than three blocks at a time, I get free shipping. So that means it comes to my doorstep, which I can bring it over to the saw, chop it up into four pieces, and then carry it into my weed room, and I'm good to go. And I think I like the coconut cure more than I like the, uh, the seed starter mix, because I think it has, of course it has no dirt in it. And uh, I really find it actually grows better. So. This is the, uh, the, the uh, radishes. And uh, so now I just stack other trays on top just to add weight. Ta-ta.